Every day we sit in a warm house. But have we ever considered what goes into the construction of a house to make it warm and dry? Let's take a look at the humble roof tile. It's a small rectangular piece of clay or concrete which, when placed on the roof of a house, helps keep the rain out and the warmth in. Nothing special in that, you may think, but do you have any idea about the process involved in making roofs and tiles? We are going to take a quick look at the production of roof tiles and the processes they undergo in their journey from the ground to on a roof. We will look at the traditional clay roof tile, which of course starts its life as the lumps of clay dug up from the ground. The clay is transported to a factory where it is broken down by crushers and rollers. Water is added and mixed into the clay to provide it with the required consistency in preparation for extrusion. The clay is fed into an extruder which not only extrudes the clay to the correct shape, but also removes any air from the clay. The clay is extruded under high pressure and forms a ribbon which can be cut into slabs. These slabs of clay are sometimes known as bats. The bats are pressed into the tile shapes by special presses called molds. These are, of course, many different shapes and styles, and a mold is made for each different shape. The soft but molded tiles are now transported through the factory on conveyor belts and with the aid of forklift trucks to the drying area. The moisture in the tiles needs to be removed slowly to avoid cracking or distortion. The temperature in the drying rooms is monitored closely and can be gradually increased. The drying process can take several days. After drying, the tiles are then transported to the coating area. Coating is an important part of the process. A color can be applied, as well as a finish, which will not only give the tile a distinctive appearance, but will also help to protect it from the weather. However, color is not necessarily due to a coating. The firing process is also responsible for the color variation. After the tiles have been coated, they are transported to large kilns where the tiles are fired at temperatures of around 1100 degrees centigrade. The temperature is increased and decreased very slowly which allows the clay to change to a hardened durable state. Variations in color are obtained by controlling the kiln atmosphere whereby the iron content occurring naturally in clay undergoes a chemical change during firing producing a wide spectrum of colors. The clay itself also has an impact on the color. In and around Kent and Sussex, wielding clay gives tiles a warm, deep, reddish hue that has become a feature of the local built landscape. The tile is now in its final stage of production. It is now inspected and then transported to the packaging area. This is also an automated process, and the tiles are soon stacked onto pallets and packed into the large plastic bags, ready to be placed in the yard where they will be collected and later placed upon the roof of a building. Well, that is how roof tiles are produced in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in another video, we will look at how roofs are actually tiled. So hope to see you then.